this man and see what he has to say. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help Fair you enough. get whoever really killed the Empress. So it's starting at last, Admiral. We found our man. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Why do you have such Lord a small head? Purge those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. Uh, we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits Pub. Okay. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. Back to your small head, buddy. Out. What's up with We've that? We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as uh, much an artist as okay. a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go Let's talk go to talk to Piero, I guess? Still want to know what's going on with that guy's big head, though. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of the master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Fine, I'll do your bitch work. I'm not happy about it, though. Since I'm doing your bitch work, I'll be taking exit from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variance in philosophy, in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tybia, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42 feet in length. I estimate she weighed 35 tons, and the ship sat low, rocking side to side throughout through the night, with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes against her bellowing. I cut into the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found raw upon row oh row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw through this broom like structure i assume she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed okay and i'm not going to read his other notes cuz i really don't care at the moment I just want to get his bitch work done and get whatever gadgets he has for me. Perfect. Now plug it in. Done and done. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a mask, you man, say. So everyone in the city knows your face, but this mask Interesting. is terror to them. If you just Hold still. Fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Fantastic. Tell me what I can make for you. Well, I don't know. Let's have a look. Shall we, Piero? Uh... Mm -hmm. A trap that can be placed on nearly any surface. Interesting. 
But here is the stuff I'm really interested in. Sleep hurts. I'm going to upgrade is my bolt capacity. And I'm going to switch over to purchases. I think I'll be good for that for the moment. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will be noted. even now more move out of the way. soon. Move. You should rest okay. while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Thanks for your star chart. Uh, eh. uh, I don't want to read a book right now. Uh, if you guys want to read that stuff, go for the the game and read all you want. Look around this aisle a bit and then go take a nap. I once served under Admiral Havelock. Captain Havelock then. I don't know if he remembers me, but I fear it's rude to ask. I don't want to embarrass him. Doesn't seem to be much more around here to explore at, the t at this time. Sure. The Hello. And so. I take back what I said. There's still more to explore. They're just leaving ore all around. Good for me, I suppose. Hmm, doesn't actually seem to be much going on in this little rebellious part of town. Hmm. Gross. Report any sickness. Must be in reference to the bat thing. Nothing else. Anything up here? Hmm. 
<laughs> Obey the city watch. Tempering with security devices is punishable by death. Yeah, well, what isn't punishable by death these days around here? I mean, really. Around the lighthouse. Oh, God, I need to stop doing that. I'm gonna waste all my arrows, is or my darts, or whatever you want to call them. Now, just bought them too. Oh, I can go in the water. Neat. I mean, I know I can go in water in the game, but I didn't know I could actually go out into the ocean waters. Hello. That water's cool. Fucking eel. Tried to kill me. Get my revenge on it one day. It's an interesting looking goat. Okay. Time for bed and more game. <laughs> Up the stairs I go. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Is the man dangerous? Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. Sure, I find everything I can in the bedroom. Maybe I... Do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. So that they can be executed. The district for treatment. Treated by execution. Or rather, via execution. Hmm. Okay, bedtime. I dreaming? This wasn't the way the place looked uh, when I went to bed. Uh, hello? Anyone around? Anybody? Any what? 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 Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Uh, the precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. Who are you? I am the outsider, and huh. this is my huh. mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world. Great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. I can do a thing now. 
Sweet. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. You cannot save. Her. Okay, that's. I'm very sad that they say that you're dead like mother, but I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. I will try, Emily person. You are evil and powerful ugly. You are also evil. Oops. Do 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 messing up your map. This place is strange. So this is just getting weird. Apparently, gravity is broken in this place. In the days that follow. Your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my wounds, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. Okay. This place is the end of all things. And beginning. Uh huh. What's your point, weird creepy heart, who apparently can talk? Careful, I guess. Going around a strange place. Not liking it very much. Okay, well, how am I supposed to get out? So confused. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Apparently, I was supposed to fall in that hole.
Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the power section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Oh. Hmm. Vitality? Dark vision. See in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their fields of vision, representations of the sound that you make are also uh, are, are also visible interesting interesting I want to level up this I'm gonna grab dark vision now and I'll save up to enhance my other thing because the dark vision will allow me to see dum dums through walls. And that will be supremely useful. What I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Okay, I still don't understand what's going on, but okay. Oh, right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Mission clues updated. Dunwall citizens, river traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. You like, but he won't use it. Why? Well, let's get down to it. Okay, First where's off, my head guy? I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart. Piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the help pits. Okay. Find captured guy. Assassinate other guy. Any Anything else? Is that it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to look around this place, because I didn't get to yesterday. Why are the bottles always empty? What is up with that? How come there's no full bottles of liquor? What the shit? I want to get shit faced, man. Also, I kind of don't know what's down here. Hmm. Old port district sewer key needed. Huh. 
I wasn't in, 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 in a basement, no. Uh, I, was, I was just looking around, having a peek. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. My teleportation power, that's quite, quite handy. <laughs> All right, time for oh, some Corvo. action, I think. A moment. Corvo, hello, I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer, mm -hmm. that wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me, but my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? I shall right? do my best, lady person. Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Well... Uh, you must be my ride. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Fine, I'll go see Piero. I just want to go and do some things that are more interesting than this. And where the fit is Piero? Part of the soul live in the heart? If the heart keeps beating, does that mean that the spirit is never released into oblivion? I can keep a heart beating forever electricity, but what does that mean for any essence trapped within? It'd be easier if I created these processes in waking hours. I am uneasy pursuing avenues that emanate from my dreaming mind. Fair enough. Now where are you? There you are, Piero. I need to have words with you because apparently you the boat guy won't take me where I need to go unless I talk to you first and buy equipment. Even though I've already bought equipment. But I shall buy more equipment, apparently. Mm -hmm. I could increase my crossbow range. Hmm. Well, that allows you to magnify your view. Hmm. Yes, let's increase the range of the crossbow. Because I plan on using it. I'm gonna thanks for the key. Do, 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 do. So. So. Uh, can't let anyone see me using my new party tricks. That would ruin the fun now, wouldn't it? Okay, um, I know not much happened in this episode, but we're going to end it here. I will see out. you next.